see all the different oh, holes. Yeah. yeah. Sociable weavers. Mm. All there's holes everywhere. Over here. Over oh, there. amazing, isn't it? Chilies. Yeah. Brilliant. Is that a spider hole? No. What's that in front of it? Hey, Shappy. Shappy. What's that, no. Melon. Melon. And then just drop it straight back. <laughs> Oh, I'm not coming to do anything, don't worry. Just having a look at you. Hello, porcupine. Watch his, watch his thing, doesn't it? Oh, these little prickles. Yeah, these things are messy. They are really. Really big. <laughs> Prickly so pears. Can you see these little thorns here? Yeah. And yeah, and once those get into your yaw, to try and get them out hooked. is just... You're hooked. You almost need to get an emery board and just... Yeah. Let's get these, folks. These are prickly pears. Birds peck out, don't they? Prickly oh, pears. The sheep and the, the cattle will eat them. And people people actually grow them as well for, which is for feed. Wow. Oh. For feed for the... So, do the sheep know how to pick them out? Maybe they split them. Oh, no, they eat right. everything. They eat the leaf, they eat everything. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Look at the size of these things. Apparently they taste really nice. No, they really are nice. We have to pick some 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 rough ones for you. Yeah, so you look at that. Them. Yeah. yeah. So they've not got prickles on, yeah, have they? Yeah, yeah, oh, have yeah. they? Oh yeah, they're all those little humps. Don't yeah, they're prickles. They're prickles. Oh. So you dare and Oh, you can see a little, they've got a little yeah. barb on them, haven't yeah. they? They have. So they yeah. Prickly, but they you are dare and touch them unless you pick them with a knife and a fork or something. Right. Yeah. Okay, folks, well, here's some baby ostriches. 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 <laughs> yeah, ostriches. <laughs> he got that. She's molting. Or he molting. Hello. We saw what a wild ostrich yesterday. Yes, that's quite funny. How lovely are they? Tiny little things. Think how big these are going to be. I was going to say, be sad, be sorry, my man. Oh, these don't smell. They just smell the, the grass. Oh, <laughs> They're not going to do anything, don't worry. All right, folks. Well, this is about 200 miles from our last destination. It's Mandy. How do you pronounce this? Up, well, it's a Kalahari um, area, so it's a vast, vast, vast area of savanna and desert. Mm. Um, when we say desert in the UK, we just think of dry sand, but that that word doesn't really describe the area. No. So soil's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, the place is stunning. The sunset, we were told before we came here that the sunsets in this region are out of this world. Mm. And apparently the sunset last night was very average. So, we, <laughs> so David, this is another Christian family we're staying with. David took us out on a mass. So get this folks, this is some, now I, I might not have this exactly right, but it's something like 16,000 acres. So um, he took us out in a four by four truck um, they call them bucks, I think. All, well, around the perimeter and over the back okay. side of the mountain. Over there, that's the mountain that we went yeah. over. We went over, right the way over the back end of that mountain. Yeah. And all the way around, zebras, we saw zebras, we saw bliss buck. Um, what else, Mandy? Spring buck. And what else? Kadu. Yeah. So I think, I think the kadu uh, are David's fate really, really difficult to um, shoot. So we've got a, a birding lens here. Yeah. But my goodness me, you've got to be quick. You have yeah. to be so quick. And we lost the light, unfortunately. Yeah. I did manage to get one of the great big male stags. I don't know if they call them stags, but you know, the male could do. Massive creature. Bold. They can clear three meter fences. Uh, they're, they're not, they're wild. These are wild and they are heavenly looking creatures to be honest with mm. you 
Um, but very, very difficult. We'll, we'll, we'll get some decent footage. You need to be quiet, I think. <laughs> yeah, and obviously the best way probably I would imagine is to go out on a walk. Yeah. And to just keep a walkie-talkie. It's amazing they've got walkie-talkies that will go right the way over from the Radios, mountain there. Yeah. I think they've got some sort of a, a mast or something here that... Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But it's so far, I mean, uh, this little place, the room where we're staying is absolutely lovely. I managed to watch a, a Manchester United oh. match with... David is a Man United fan and the, the kids are. And we got absolutely slaughtered 3-0 last night it was shocking so um <laughs> <laughs> yeah it wasn't wasn't pleasant watch but it was good company and um so we've got little baby ostriches is here oh so cute they've, they've unfortunately they've got porcupines they've actually <laughs> catch because they've been eating all the crops <laughs> they've, they spotted a cobra two days ago uh there's near the house so near normally, the house they normally left alone but yeah, oh yeah. It, it, obviously, if they get within the garden... That's I mean, a these, cape over, that one. Yeah, within 20 minutes they can kill a child. So, yeah. And they've got puff adders, which are apparently even worse because they, they eat you from the inside out. The venom basically disintegrates your organs. And that happens over three days and they have to amputate parts of your body. And oh, to, Just to give you some idea, folks, because... So the closest hospital to here is, is um, a place called Up Uppington. So that's about two hours away. So you, you have to understand that. Um, and hours. Cape Town is where we originally started from is 1,100 kilometers from here. So if you get into serious trouble uh, in these places, it's a long ride. And uh, so you have to understand that a, a, a good portion of that ride is on incredibly bumpy <laughs> dirt tracks. So we are, uh, it's hard maybe to, to grasp because I haven't done too much filming on the roads. I've done, just done a little bit. Mm. Um, because you cover miles and miles and miles and miles of a of, of vast open desert basically. Yeah. But yeah, you've got to be really careful that you don't get hurt. Um, so the major danger where we started out, which is uh, Cape Town, Somerset West, the major danger there is being mugged, being um, battered, or people are uh, horrible things happen to people. Mm. That's the major danger is people. The main, the major danger out here is the environment. Yeah. yeah, it's and I don't want to paint a what's it picture because I think getting bitten by a snake is a very rare thing. But a friend of ours, a um, few days ago, got uh, two months ago, got absolutely stormed by bees. It nearly killed him. So there's all sorts of things. You've really got to have your common sense about you, whether it's being mugged by people or <laughs> just not understanding the environment that you're in. But it's just outstanding. Again, the skies last night were amazing. The stars were amazing. And uh, this is where well, we're going to be here for about three days. Mm. And I'm really looking forward to it. You couldn't, you couldn't be stopping with nicer people. We're going to be hiking the hill. Um, yeah. It does have a name. Yeah. It sounds like Malcott. <laughs>
is our little apartment. It says here that the Elan is the most depicted creature. This is where we've been staying for the last two nights. We've got two more nights here. Uh, it's fantastic. Lots and lots of wildlife. The one thing that you learn when you come to, oh man, what's it called again? Kalahari. Mm -hmm. Kalahari. Kalahari. The Kalahari is, despite what you see on television, when you see all these wildlife um, programs and you see these amazing close up things of tigers and stuff like that, <clears throat> this is not a, a game park, this is a farm. And these creatures do not want to be uh, photographed. They don't want humans creeping up on them. And to even get close to things like zebras, as soon as you get within 50 meters, less, more than that actually, of a zebra, they'll move. Hello. Hello, Sheffy. Okay folks, we're on a quad bike. Coming up soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway, that's beautiful. Beautiful lighting. Can this can? <laughs> <laughs> Candice, <laughs> tell us all about that cave, please. Well, I think there's a leopard living in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh -huh. so, that's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, why is it? What actually is it we're going to look at now? We're going to go look at rock paintings of the Khoisan the have made. He's a natural. The man's a natural. 
<laughs> Show them the tree over there growing through the rocks. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. So David and Candice got four children, haven't you? And four four lovely children, two boys, two girls. Yeah. If I don't know whether this you you'll see this on this, but they live in well. <laughs> they live in the middle of absolutely nowhere, and well, well, how far is your closest neighbour off to walk to? Uh, eight kilometres. Yeah. yeah. On each side. On yeah. Yeah. And each but side. you regularly go and see him and have yeah, a barbecue. Yeah. Well, a dry. Mm. A dry barbecue. A dry, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. It's just incredible. So mm. if you get uh, bitten by a snake or something like that. Bye bye. Two two hours from Uppington, closest town. Closest town. Yeah. Or pray hard. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're going in and and spoil. Going good. We got oh, that, that snake spoil, huh? Yeah, it's snake spoil. Yeah. It's what? Snake. Snake. <laughs> snake. Oh, you mean the tracks? The tracks, yeah. Ooh, heck. Laughing. Don't like snakes. You know, horrible things. Again, look at this tree growing in amongst the Amazing. growing in amongst the rock. Because of you. Just to get some perspective. <laughs> what they were the kids could Were they counting the days? Were they what were they doing? Yeah, exactly. Because that's that has to be man made 100%. Now, this is gushing, so you can see the river there. Bizarre, isn't it? So, how many have you got there? You got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. How weird is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's always six. Seven on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Or maybe even another one there. Four, yeah. How weird. Oh, all over the place. Ah, that's the world's first mountain bike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sort of like a man, sort of like a man. They're ears, aren't they? Are they ears and they're two eyes, you think? Could be the head, head skew. Mm. With, two, with two arms and three legs. Mm. <laughs> Is there something there and there or not? Is that me? They no, did something there. They drew there. There. It's weird, isn't it? Like a head. What what I what I see with that is an animal looking directly at you with two ears there. Yeah. Maybe that's a kudu. Maybe. Oh. That's a kudu, maybe, maybe with the big ears. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. the, um, yeah, yeah the flicky. Wars. Don't mention yeah. Star Wars. We, oh, hey, we don't watch like Star the, Wars. The Sith, the, the, the Sith <laughs> Jedi. Thing that, that, that is, is seriously well. disturbing. He's got two devil horns. Hey, we need to get out of here quick. <laughs> Do you know what this is? It's one of the Nephilim. Yeah, living in the cave. <laughs> that has got two horns on the top of his head. It's two got eyes. yeah, and they are horrible eyes. Um, oh, I it see. Looks like I see it. I see it now. Yeah. Him. Yeah. And he's got a nice big chest. Yeah. He's, he's done the chest. It's got a long torso. Wow. But what's all that? the squiggles? I think, uh, yeah, I think we found the um, the central station of Satan on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope not. Look. It's really weird. And there's, are they snakes? The swirly bits look like snakes. Is yeah. Snakes? Upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Is that a scorpion to the right, Tim? The black? Or a centipede? Oh, look at that! Look at that! It looks like a centipede. Look at that there! Pretty awesome pictures. Yeah, that is like a so centipede. I'm, I'm used yeah. to interpreting kids. Well, that, uh, kids that, would be a, that would be sort of a kid's drawing yeah, right there. Yeah, kids but look at this, see, that almost it's looks like, like alpha, some kind of language there. This is yeah. quite cool. Come on. Just put, put the camera down on the, the camera on the glass there. 
Somewhere. But that is bizarre. That that's well, I'm happy that you guys can interpret them because I got oh. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's no doubt that like, there's two eyes. You've got some kind of yeah. horns there. That's his yeah, body that's there, that and nice. that's his mouth. That is like amazing. Yeah. So you know the Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a snake hole somewhere that we're not it's probably a snake hole that you're not supposed to go in. And, and obviously there's like... Oh yeah, jeez, from back here you yeah. can see it's the art, the very mountains defined. open. Yes. Like this. Yeah, like and keep away uh, almost. Yeah. He looks sort of like an alien. So. Okay, Candice reckons that's a zebra and t looking at it from here, man, it's a zebra. It's a horse face. Yeah. It's got uh, two ears, yeah, yeah. eyes and the mouse further down, it's a long... long. Plus they'd hunt it. Yeah, 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 of course they would. And the centipede... It's a, it's a centipede. It's a blinking big centipede. <laughs> <laughs> so the snakes can't get to them. Oh. <laughs> Weaving nests. So yeah, more than likely they would have been sheltered away, yeah? Yeah. Sleeping yeah. in these little caves. The yeah, we can walk up the side as well. Now. I haven't never actually walked right to the top, so I don't even know if there's any more paintings here. <laughs> And um, I'm going to be following in about an hour. I'm going to be driving one of the uh, trucks. So um, this has been our this has been our home for the last four days. Beautiful. Hot water is fed from the the um, solar heater things outside. Everything's off grid here. Everything is off grid. But what a lovely little self-contained room. So beautiful. At night, it's really hot, and then about four o'clock in the morning, it suddenly goes really cold. But we slept really well, and they've been just looked after us in the most incredible way. I can't even begin to tell you. Okay, folks, we are off. We're on our way, well, about a two hour journey to Uppington. So I'm following uh, Ken with a great big trailer on the front. I've got Shep in the back and I've got Nelson. Nelson. We're just coming off the farm now and we've just seen a whole herd of blessed buck. 
which um, I've been avoiding us all the time we've been here. So. Yeah, lovely family, absolutely lovely family. So folks, I want to thank you, really genuinely thank you for, uh, for making us feel so at home for the last four days. It's a, it's a lovely, lovely place, beautiful place. I promise you I'll put together a good video. Ha <laughs>